Uh, it's on you, Joe. It's on Ish. Mm. Brent, yeah, Brent Fires. Brent Fires drop. Wasteland. I heard. Uh, was in it, your was phones, it Fires? In your phones right this second. Was it Fires? Was it Fires? Oh, that was a good one. Um, nah, the two songs. I only heard two of the songs out of 19, so I ain't really delve into the whole Scroll project. down. But um, it was cool. The two songs I heard, they was probably like seven and a half. So that, that was all right for me. All right. Did you hear anything on it, Parks? Really in depth. Uh, I heard one song that I really liked. The rest of it, uh, I wouldn't say it was bad. I wouldn't say it was good. I got to live with it. You know, R&B in the morning, I've been said it a million times. It's not my shit. <laughs> so I need to, I know the girl, he's like him. I want to hear this we'll at the party the and see what, see, what the, see what the vibe is. Okay. You heard Ice? I haven't had a chance to hear Going to hit the gym to some Brent Fires is never going to work. Pull up. For man. me, personally. <laughs> and we- Ice thinks that I have a beef with Brent Fires. Mm. Not a beef. Tension, dislike, dislike. Dis- disdain mm. Yes, for Brent Fires. Yes. And he doesn't believe me when I say that's not true. <sighs> I feel like you've voiced some... Uh, Displeasure. Displeasure in the past. Publicly or not, I don't know. Which has nothing to do with dislike him. of him. him. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. no I'm talking about musically. I'm talking about musically when I say you don't like him. What I think happens is sometimes people will get enough um, attention. Mm-hmm. And then when you check their music out, it's like, they don't deserve this, or this praise. Mm-hmm. Like, you get certain people saying, yo, he's the next one, he's this, he's this, he's this, and then you go to listen to it, and it's like, what the fuck are y'all hearing? Not saying that's the case with you, but I've I, I've done that. Personally. Alex, did you hear it? I, I did. What do you think? I mean, to be honest with you, I, I like his style. I call him, like, a hipster 112, you know what I'm saying? So, I, I like the sound. I could see why you don't. Traditionally, it's not, like, the most traditional of R&B music. He's like a super cool cat. So I you think I only it. understand traditional R&B? No, I, I think, I you, think you do favor it. I think you prefer it. I yeah. think you know everything. I'm just saying I think what you prefer. They think I favor traditional R&B. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm open to that. I would think... I'm listening. I, I agree with that. Um, I don't know if I agree with that. That he prefers traditional R&B? Alex, when... Thank you. Thank you, Ish. Uh, Alex, yeah. when did Brish, uh, Brent first come out? Like around 2014, 2015. I could check it for you. And that's my thing. Mm-hmm. So, Ice, you want to talk about my introduction to Brent? Mm-hmm. Let's discuss it. Uh, I learned about Brent when I learned about Tory Lanez at the same exact time. Mm. Okay. And that pretty sure that was my son. Now, throughout my travels, I know that there's a whole hipster community like Alex is speaking about that really fucks with Brent. I know a lot of girls that really fuck with Brent. They love Brent. Yeah. And somewhere around that, when did he catch, he caught that big one. Crew? Yeah. You couldn't tell, talk anyone off of the Brent bandwagon when that was out. Yeah, that was 2016. 2016. It's was Goldie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then he put that video out describing... Uh, uh, really detailing the financial side of being an independent artist. Mm-hmm. And I thought great. that that was incredible. It was. So I'm, I was rooting, I'm rooting for Brent. Got you. Right? Like you, you show, you clearly are innovative and you're doing this on your own. There were reports of him walking away from money. I support underdog shit like that. Mm-hmm. You're going to be independent and sell your shit. I'm all the way down. So now I'm just checking to see. And I could never hear what everybody else was hearing. That's what I just said. Mm. He I, was he was he wore this label as the toxic singer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He's pretty and, toxic. And he where is, is it? He's toxic. Yeah. <sighs> this is gonna sound bad. I mean, I guess there's levels to toxic. Of course there's. There's levels to toxic. Maybe I'm just in like a grad school of toxic. <laughs> Cause this and the women that think that this and the niggas that think that this they shouldn't come to my game. 
I don't think this project is any is half as toxic as Giveon. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear this. I'm just saying him, him. Oh, him. He's tired. I didn't hear this. So I, know. I don't know. See, but today up. now, today, you know, if you if you market yourself and you create music a certain type of way, mm-hmm. then that's what it is. So yes. today. It's like future. I see a bunch. Yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I see like a future. bunch of people. Oh, this is that toxic shit I need. I see some people. Oh, this ain't really toxic enough. I'm just going on music creation. Mm-hmm. This is lazy song song making. I'm not going. That's the start of it. This is lazy song making on this project, yo. Hmm. I was gonna ask you. Do you it's think quick. It's... it's quick. It's the quick mix cornbread. I was gonna ask you. You know, y'all some... know if I'm not. Don't interrupt Sorry. me yet. Good. Y'all know if I'm not fucking with the vocals on some shit, I'll vibe out to just music. Right. I'm just talking about music. Mm-hmm. These empty skeleton beats that sound the same from one to seventeen. His vocal performance on him ain't. It ain't. He's still nasally. He's still saying the same shit. There's no bridges. <laughs> Somebody got the nerve to come in and try to rap on some of these shits. Because I don't want you to think that what I'm saying is because I dislike him, I do not. But how do you hear this and take it differently? I'm tired of holding this in. <laughs> that's like that's, that's There's more to this if you want if you want to keep listening to this song. Yeah, I'm like this. Does anything happen to the beat? Nigga, you 2 minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> oh it. shit. <laughs> the backgrounds are off. That one a little rough. Why is he doing his own background? That was a little rough. Why is nobody auto-tuning some of this stuff so that it's not off-key? Alex, yeah. what do you want me to do with Try that? I, I definitely understand what you're saying. Nah, Sometimes it. it can sound a little bit off in the mundane. I get it. Nah, not for nothing. Let me let me play this so it sound like I'm not going like... There you go. I fuck with that. Yeah, I like that. I know you do. I wish I could let it continue. <laughs> Here's another one. Come on. <laughs> oh, no, it's saying a little. It's saying a little. I like the second half of the Purse of Fame. I hate this. I ain't mad at I'm that I'm not mad at that one. I'm not mad at it. that one. Listen to it on your own and come I will. back. With yeah, I will. Thing. I will. I'm going to listen to the this. project, though. I just didn't get a chance to. I do I like Brett, usually. Yeah. I hate uh, I'm, this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down and when we. And he definitely back. plays uh, melodically, and that was was gonna ask you. Well, a couple things. He does play melodically with um, jazzier notes. In the instance of the one that you just played, that was just wrong. So I'm with you on that. A but also, I'm just wondering wrong. if that combined with maybe just his tone in general is so off putting to your ear because I think that happens sometimes where someone. The first song Joe played. It doesn't matter. I'm not. I'm talking regardless of what song it is. I just hate X Y Z's voice. It will always bother me for whatever reason. I don't want to listen. Can't to even it. get past it. So it's like yeah. whatever you're saying, it don't matter. Doesn't like matter. your voice just does not. Your choice of melodies, yeah. your style of singing, or your actual tone. I can't get past it. I will never listen. I'm yeah, wondering I, if I that's some, the situation with you. That like that with. This, do you this, find this, that happens to you? Like, this just sounds like nails on a chalkboard to me. Mm. Honestly. Like, it's that bad to me. Yeah. It wasn't that, but I get it. But not yeah. for nothing, too. Listening to m- music on this pod tends to do the music justice. I pro- I'm not the only person no, 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 that says I'm that. Saying, I know yeah, you, I'm not the only person sound, that says I've, that. I've heard people say it I've don't heard sound songs, the same when they hear When it. I heard them here, I was like, sheesh. Mm-hmm. And then I'm riding around, and it don't sound like it sounded here. It mm-hmm. don't sound like it in my house. It don't sound like it in my car. It's just like, eh. But here, some shit will be a monster smash, and I get it at home, and it's like, yeah. So, I still would like to see Brent do well because I support his business model. Mm-hmm. Maybe it just ain't for me. Maybe I'm too old. Maybe I'm too old. I for do this, think it could be a situation where it's just his sound. The sound of his voice just doesn't click for you. That happens sometimes. Mm-hmm. There's a yeah, bunch yeah, of people yeah, I just can't. I, 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 I just think that's yeah. a crock of shit. So I, that, I, that happens though, for real. That definitely that happens. Definitely happens. You know what? When you, you know what excuses that though, a really good song. A song. True. 
True. Oh, the music, good music, song. Music These go. are not good songs. The the last two you played, I wasn't mad at. I uh, know. Go listen to them. Man. I'm, I'm, I, like I said, go I'm going to listen to this entire project. And come back and give me and your I got objective you. criticism. For sure. I so got that this you. doesn't seem like I'm going too hard on a project. For sure. Don't that worry. I specifically didn't enjoy. Yeah, I will y'all. definitely say no, from no. the half listen I gave it to gave it to it earlier. Why why does anybody have skits on their album in 2022? I liked his skits. I, oh no, I was, I'm a fan of skits. <laughs> his skits were good. Nah, I'm a fan. The of The skits, skits is probably, right. probably one of the highlights of this project. I don't want to hear no skits. I didn't like skits when they were popping in 1997 or whatever why that not? was. I don't, still don't. How could you be against a good huh? skit? I hate skits. You ain't like the Mad Rapper. Uh, well, it depends on the song. Some of them were at the beginning of the song, so the song didn't start till 53 minutes in. I always hated that. You ain't like that torture skit from Wu Tang. The first time. Yeah, like oh, Wu Tang oh. had good skits. The the bad boy niggas had great skits. Yeah. DMX used to have good skits. Um, skits was the shit. Yeah, I used to like them. Not I'm a fan. I love a good skit. No, Joe Biden. Not for daddy.